Hi, I'm Lisa from Lori's Country Cottage. Welcome to How Tuesday. Today is video two in our four-part series on buying backing for your quilt. Today is all about figuring out how much 45 inch wide fabric you need to back your quilt. Join me. Let me start by saying, what I'll show and share with you today is the easiest way for you to piece your backing. And it has the least number of seams. When our customers come in and they are unhappy that they have to piece the backing, what's most important to them is that it's the easiest way. So there are less expensive ways of doing it, but they require more cutting, measuring, and more seams. Also, I want to reassure you that we've included a downloadable document. It's an if-then document. So, if your quilt is this wide and this long, then you need to buy this much. But sometimes it's easier if you see it. So let's zoom in and I'll show you some examples. First, let me show you an easy way to piece your backing. Piecing backing can be difficult because the pieces are so large, but this might help. Imagine this is your piece of fabric. You've come to Lori's Country Cottage and we've said you need three meters for your backing. This is the fabric as it comes off the bolt. Here's the folded edge and here's the salvage edge. So you'll unfold your fabric and let's say that's three meters. You'll fold your fabric in half so that you have a fold here. And you'll cut that fold off. Either take your rotary cutter or a pair of scissors and simply make the cut. If your fabric is non-directional, so there is no up or down, all you need to do is peel off the top layer, grab the next two layers, so now your fabric is right sides together, you'll pin it, all the way down the one and a half meter length of your fabric, then take it to your sewing machine, sew it with your one inch seam allowance, then go and cut those selvages off. If your fabric is directional, you will pull this back, so top and bottom, top and bottom, and now you need to lay them right sides together like that. So the tops are here and the bottoms are here. And then it is the very same method. All right, let's figure out some backing. For my example, this is the 40 inch usable width of my fabric. Here's my quilt. It's between 40 and 80 inches wide. I chose 56. So my 40 inch piece of fabric isn't wide enough. I need another piece. So I could add a piece here, but look how much extra I have. It's more economical for me to purchase two widths of my quilt. So I only need two pieces that big. What if my quilt is between 42 and less than 80 wide, but longer than 80? I can no longer use the two widths of my quilt because I don't have enough fabric. This time, I need to buy two times the length of my quilt. All right, 
what if my quilt is more than 80 inches wide? This is more than 80 inches wide and it's less than 120 inches long. Now, my two widths of fabric aren't wide enough. I need another piece of fabric. If I buy another length, I sure have a lot of wasted fabric. I'm better off buying three times the width of my fabric. And then I have less waste and I have to buy less fabric. But what if my quilt is more than 80 inches wide and it's more than 120 inches long. My three widths of fabric are no longer long enough. I need to buy three lengths of my quilt. Don't forget, we have a downloadable document that you can print and refer to. I know what you're thinking. Hey Lisa, what if my quilt is wider than 120 inches and longer than 120 inches? It's king size. Well, I recommend you buy wide backing. It'll be more economical and you won't have to do all that piecing. Having said that, there is nothing wrong with piecing 45 inch wide backing for a king size quilt, but you may need to special order a bolt of fabric just for your quilt. Now, when you come to Lori's Country Cottage, sometimes when you're asking us to figure out backing for your quilt, we draw a picture on a piece of paper. It's the same thing I've shown you today. We're simply looking at how many 45 or 40 inch usable pieces of fabric can we fit on the back of your quilt so that you can buy the least amount of fabric possible. When you've been doing it for a really long time, sometimes you can do it in your head. So start with our downloadable guide, draw yourself a picture, and before long, you may find that you're doing it in your head. Thank you for joining me for How Tuesday. Today was all about 45 inch wide backing. Join me for the next video in the series where I'll talk about 60 to 70 inch wide backing. Thanks for joining me.